What is up everyone? This is George Trattress here at Oric Chevrolet in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful black 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. This one happens to be a double cab and it has a short bed in the rear. And as you can see this one's pretty well outfitted. It's got a red western single blade snow plow on the front with an electronic controller inside the cab. This one has the headlights on the top of it, on the top of the plow. So yeah, I'm going to do a nice little walk around here, show you all these features on it. One of the first things you can notice is these beautiful side fender bulges there, the protectors there, a nice bolted on look. Keeps the inside of the fender and the outside there from getting scuffed up, scratched up with the fender, you know, the salt, the rocks, the mud, all that. And gives it a nice clean look. Branching off of that, on the doors we also have the rugged trims here with the black bolts and as you can see there we've got the rocker protector it's pretty much a tube of steel there nice sleek design doesn't get in the way allows for lots of clearance and gives the truck a nice finished look this is one of the nicer western snow plows you can get single blade very easy to plow up snow, and especially in a parking lot, driveway. Nice rugged black painted coated bottom there on the blade. Western even has the flags on either side, so it gives you added visibility when you're plowing to see where the two ends of the toe are. Very heavy duty, real deal snow plow with this. It is detachable there, as you see, you got that little red knob. You need to fold that down on both sides there and you know unhook it or hook it up when you need it. This one has a nice set of headlights and amber lights there with the turn signals. As the hitch does block the front of the truck, so you still get great visibility with those lights added. This is an LT trim, so as you see, you've got the chrome front grille, you got the chrome front bumper and rear bumper. And it's a nice, you know, classic look. Very handsome appearance. These headlights are the halogen HID projector bulb. They're for the driving lights, amber parking lights. Nice chrome lines going through the grill. Black Chevy bow tie. This one also has the fog lamps integrated into the bumper. Nice round, conventional style incandescent bulbs. This also has the trailer mirrors, the black with the amber turn signal and marker lamps. And on top you've got the cab lights. These are in a smoked type of look to them. And then when you turn the lights on it's an amber type of look. So it really offsets the truck nicely, gives it a nice touch. It gives it that loaded up appearance. Very good looking truck, especially with the hitch. Ready for the snow, ready for winter, ready to work. This is a 4x4 truck. Automatic shift control knob inside the cab. Heavier duty 5 spoke alloy wheels. Let's look at that beefy frame. Got the nice heavy duty uh, frame stoppers there for the clearance. Heavy duty leaf springs on the back. Spare tire under the bed. And as you see here, you get the signature Chevrolet corner steps there. Makes getting in and out of the bed a breeze. So look at the back of the truck. Does look good with that chrome bumper. You got the black bow tie with the chrome outline, chrome badging. Very sharp looking truck, especially with the black blow tie. Get a little clip of this 6 liter idling. Very nice sound with this engine. You can even see that heavy duty differential there.
So we'll hop in the interior of this truck, show you what the lights look like, and we'll go from there. We'll show you what the amber lights look like. So as you can see with those amber lights, your uh, mirrors there light up a nice amber LED. Same here up on the front, you got the amber light in the sides of the headlights there on either side. Very nice look to them. And also you got the amber lights on the snow plow lights turning on as well. That's how those uh, roof mounted cab lights look. They got the nice amber LEDs. Very sharp looking when they're on and when they're off they're just black. Gives you that nice appearance there on the top of the truck. Really sharp looking. Go ahead and turn on the lights on. As you see there, you got your front lights on there for the plow. Now those embers stay lit up. This truck does have the body color matched door handles. They're not in chrome, so it gives the truck a nice Sleek look all the way across, not too flashy. You know, you also have the black window trim, which looks very nice, all blacked out. You got your rear tail lights. We'll show off the interior of this truck. Take a look at the manufacturer sticker on that truck. You got your tire information there. You got the store, you got the chrome door handle. You got your power mirror adjust there, left and right. You got your power door locks, auto down and auto up, power windows. You got your power child rear lock doors in the back, and you got your power uh, lock the window so only the driver can control them. Again you got the black interior on this truck. You got those nice Chevy door panels there. Lots of integrated space. Makes a great use of the space in there. One of my other favorite features of this truck is this bench seat here that also doubles as a center console. So when you're just driving you know by yourself you can have the center console there. Nice big space there. Padded nice little leather type material there. You got your three cup holders in the middle, and then this is your uh, snow plow uh, electronic controller. You can raise, lower, on and off. I'll show you how that works pretty quick. So you've got your snow plow there. Turn it on. See how you can raise it. Right, left. Straighten back up, then we'll lower it. Nice and dropped. You do want to lower it while you're parking the truck. You don't want to leave it raised while it's parked or off. We'll show you the center console here. Opening the lid, you got a nice decent amount of storage space in there. And in here you got a 12 volt outlet. Holds on from the top. Over there you got two USB ports and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary audio jack. You got a nice little center divider in there. Keep your items divided. You got three little storage spaces there and the three cup holders. And what's nice about this is it just folds up and there you got a full, you know, classic third row, third seat uh, bench in the front there. The other nice feature about having this is you actually get a extra storage compartment under this seat that's actually lockable with the key of the truck. So this little compartment, which has a, you know quite a bit amount of storage space in there, is also lockable, so you can hide valuables in there, all that. And most people don't even know this truck has that feature. 
So your materials are safe in there. Fold that back over and you got your center console. Power adjustable front driver's seat. You got your lumbar in and out. You got the tilt of the seat back and forth. The seat slide, front and rear. Rear tilt, front tilt, up, down. Very nice truck. And as you can see, this truck has the uh, Chevrolet all-weather floor liners in the front and the back row really, you know, grips, you know, it's laser cut, you know, exactly the dimensions of this truck. Kind of like a weather tech, except this comes straight from the factory, fits in the very nice, snug, very good fit on these mats. Step inside here. We'll close that door. You can just notice how quiet everything just gets in here. Very nice cabin. Very luxurious. You see you got your driver information center there in the middle. Lots of different options to choose from here. You can got your tire pressure all four corners. Very good to know. There you got your four wheel drive selector, two high, four high, and four low. True four wheel drive. You got your light adjust there, and your light knob on the right. Coming over there, you got your Chevy MyLink screen. You got your controls for it, even though it is touch screen and you can operate it directly with by touch. Very nice, easy to use, or you can use the buttons anywhere you'd like. There you got your dual zone climate control. Turn that on there. Center button here is your fan speed control. And it shows you exactly what's going on all right there on the little screen that pops up there on your MyLink. Nice strong AC. You can turn it down by turning the knob there, fine tune adjust your fan speed, or you can turn it all the way off with the push of a button right in the middle. Nice and easy to operate. There you got your traction control off. There you got your cab lights on the rear. Nice little marker light to let you know if it's on or off. You got that beautiful two layer, two zone little glove box in there. You can store lots of things. Very creative design by Chevrolet there. It's a passenger side there door. You've got this nice aluminum style trim there on these doors, not the wood trim that you usually get in some of the higher trims, but that aluminum look does look very nice with this truck. And being that it's an LT, you have the convenience there on the steering wheel, your voice commands, anything from the radio, navigation, to uh, you know using the phone, Bluetooth, all that. There's a nice, easy, convenient phone hang up when you're on the phone. You can hit that if you want to hang up a call, answer another call. And there's your directional buttons for operating that driver information center. Then you got your cruise control there. You know, increase, accelerate, decelerate, disarm, engage, cruise control. As well as you got the uh, buttons on the back of the steering wheel here. Very nice feature. Controlling the volume on this side, controlling memory presets and stations on that side. This is a double cab. As you can see there, we got the back filled up with cargo just to show you how much we can really fit in there with no problem at all. Seats aren't even raised, you still have the whole under seat area for storage. This truck has the fixed rear window with defroster on there. Oh, that's operatable through here, you got the front defrost, rear defrost. Very nice, very easy to use, all your controls are right there in front of you, nothing really to miss. And under here with the center console not there, you have this huge open space there in the middle there. So you've got a nice little storage area. Kind of like a little pocket holder. Then you got a little 12 volt outlet on this side. Show you the rear of the truck. As you can see there we've got a nice big couple boxes on this rear seat 
and you still have plenty of space under and around. Shows you the practicality this truck offers. And you still got that excellent cargo use of space there in the door cards. This truck does have the 6 liter Vortec V8. Has a 410 final drive axle ratio. So it's very aggressive uh, axle drive there. So you got nice power and torque all throughout your power band. There's another look at that frame there. So that about wraps up our little review here. This 2017 Chevrolet 2500 HD double cab short box in the back with the 6 liter Vortec V8 engine. 410 axle ratio, four wheel drive, integrated front fog lights, LT trim. It's got the cab mounted roof lights on the top. Trailering mirrors, heavy duty with the amber lights. Very nice looking truck. This thing's ready to work, ready to haul. Again, my name is George. We're here at Rorick Chevrolet in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching.